like when people do material based on exactly what they look like. Like, Michael Phelps definitely looks like he knows cougars, bees, and walking around barefoot. Like, without it, he, like, he looks like he farms barefoot bee cougars. <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> Alright. We're having fun. We're telling jokes. Guess what? We have more comics coming at you. Everyone, give a hand for Dennis Cruz! Let's give it up for Cam. He's trying today. It's Sunday at WWE. is afoot. Uh, we talked, Michael was talking about the weather uh, last week when we had all that sun. Uh, I was coming, coming to Kelly's. And uh, the lift driver goes, why aren't you out, you know, enjoying the sunlight? What are you, allergic? And I hated to have to tell him that, yeah, I have melanoma. Uh, not funny, but true. <laughs> um, a little more about me. I'm part Irish, part Native American. Uh, my grandmother learned early on to get off the reservation. She had to marry the white, I mean, the right man. And so you take the two worst uh, stereotypes of that ancestry, and here you go. Uh, I love to drink. I just don't have the genetics to handle it well. If you've heard the term angry drunk, I'm angry sober. I'm a total asshole until I get a drink in me. Then I'm a real nice guy. Some people might say that indicates a problem with alcohol. I just call that Tuesday morning. Uh, I used to think drinking, you know, made me more creative. The more I drank, the more creative I got at finding ways to get more alcohol. But uh, it's good that we're in a bar, I guess, you know, and get all the alcohol you want. Uh, I do have a problem that's affected me since I was a teen. It's my default facial expression. I call it disappointed dad face. It sucked at parties. No one wanted to hang out with me. No one wanted to be seen talking to the cop. I went to school with these people. I saw these people every day. It made it really difficult to sell my cocaine. I was in, I was in my doctor's office, not talking about my default expression, uh, talking about other things. And uh, in, in the waiting room, they had one of those uh, drug advertisements. At first, I thought it was an inspirational poster because it only asked a simple question. But then I read that it had side effects. And there shouldn't be any side effects to inspiration. But the question it asked was, what's keeping you from what you love? And I could only think of one answer, laws. <laughs> Anyways, I see my doctor, and I, I, I tell her I finally quit smoking cigarettes. She says, that's great. Best years of your life are ahead of you. Funny man that I am. I say, yeah, all three of them. Still looking at my chart without missing a beat. She says, maybe. And, you know, in, in all my years of dealing with doctors, uh, I've learned that they are people, and while they are highly educated, they're not the best optimists. So when the doctor says, in six to eight months, it's going to get aggressive, uh, the only thought in my head is, challenge, accept it. Um, I'll leave on this one. Uh, getting older, I, uh, I really don't understand. You know, you start looking at the different things that are out there, what's come, what comes next. And uh, I was raised Roman Catholic, but I studied all the religions, and none of them make sense to me. They all seem a little too child-centric. You know, one group, they want to mutilate the kids' genitals, and on the other hand, they just want to bundle them. I'm Dennis, that's my time. <laughs> Dennis Cruz, he just did a set for you. You may remember him from his jokes 20 seconds ago. Um, what I think would be fun is if you said the next person, if you introduced this next person, all right? Do you know his name? Jason Morrow. 
Is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Oh yeah, so here, here we are. We're a room full of people and you you gotta want us to want it. What do you what do you do? Next comic coming to the stage. Give it up for Jason Morrow. Oh, yeah.